Today is Tuesday, which means Trick Tip Tuesdays. I'm going to teach you guys how to pop out of a backside nose grind on a ledge. Stay tuned. Complicated on down to the basics. Tray flips and burials, the front side crooked. First things first, requirements. I would say you guys need to have a strong nose manual. If you're not that good at nose manuals, I wouldn't bother trying to learn this trick. I would go back, get good at nose manuals, then come back to this trick next. If you've never tried this trick before, to warm up, I would suggest learning back 50-50s nollies out. And to practice that, you can just set the board on the ledge and put your foot on the nose and nollie out. And then when you get good at that, you can set the board up in a nose grind and pop out from there. On a box like this, in my opinion, the easiest way to get into the nose grind is to jump straight into it. So it's not really backside and it's definitely not front side. It's just straight right up the middle. Once you guys get good at those warm ups, you're pretty much ready. There is one thing I wanted to show you guys. When you're nose grinding and you just come off the end of a ledge, you're pretty much just pushing forward. And when you guys stalled in the nose grind, you're sort of pushing out with a little bit of hip thrust. So when you're doing the nose grind rolling and you wanna get out, you wanna combine those. You wanna do the small nollie at the same time pushing out. And what helps me, I'll put my front toes to hang off the edge just a little bit and I'll kind of curl them down. That way I sort of get this getting squished and it can help kind of give me some leverage to get off. By the way, if you guys get into the nose grind and it's not perfect, you're gonna have a much harder time correcting yourself and getting into this locked in position. So try to really focus on the first part of the nose grind and then the second part should do the work for you if you know what you're doing. I know that sounded complicating, but I promise once you guys try this a few times, it'll make more sense. Personally, I don't do this trick very often because in my opinion, the longer the nose grind, the better. But you guys will encounter at some point a ledge where you can't just nose grind through the edge. Maybe there's a knob, maybe there's a wall there, who knows? So being able to pop out of a nose grind is just one more tool in your guys' arsenal. So you guys can use it whenever you need to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you guys a little bit. I upload five videos per week here on Ninja Lifestyle, so if you're not subscribed already, do that ASAP. Hit the bell. I'll see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches.